Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Kristen Hilty again from Making Math Make Sense. Today I'm gonna to show you with my friend Brett how to play the game 18th hole. You'll see you have the directions, you have a game board, you also have a recording sheet uh, attached underneath this video file. I'm not actually going to use the recording sheet because Brett and I are going to say our equations out loud, but you can always have your kids write down their equations uh, on that recording sheet for documentation as well. So to play this game, you're going to need the game board and you're going to need three dice um, and then some kind of a pen. So this first one up here, I'm going to put mom because this one's going to be mine. And on this one down here, this is going to be Brett's game board. So I'm going to put his name here. Um, I'm going to go first. And on my first roll, I roll all three dice and I have to add all three together to say the target number. So my target number is 13. Now on my game board where I have the numbers one to 18, I have to give Brett an equation to make that target number 18. I can, in my equation, I can use, sorry, my target number is 13. I can use from one to four numbers per turn that I can cross off on my game board. So if I'm making 13, I'm actually just gonna say 13 and I'm gonna cross off the number 13. Brett's gonna roll. He's gonna get his target number. Well, his target number is 12, and he is going to tell me how he is going to make 12, and he is going to knock that off of his game board. 16 subtract, no, yes, subtract 14. Okay, so give me the whole equation. 16 subtract 4 equals 12. How about 16? 12 is your number. So how about 16 minus 4 equals 12? Hopefully Brett's teachers are watching this. All right, so now my new target number is 13 again. So I have to give another way to make 13. I'm going to do um, 15 minus 2 equals 13. So I crossed off my 15 and my 2. Your turn, Brett. Okay, 11. 11. Let's see if he can make 11. Okay, um, 6 plus 5 equals 11. 6 plus 5 equals 11, so he crossed off his 6 and his 5. All right, on my turn, my target number is 9. I'm going to cross off 5 plus 3 plus 1 equals 9. So again, you can cross off anywhere from one to four numbers in your equation to make your target oh, number. Okay. Now, Brett and I so far have only been doing it with addition, subtraction, but you can use addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. You can use whatever operations you wish. So you get 12 again. Three plus seven plus two equals 12. 3 plus 7 plus 2 equals 12. So he crossed off the 3, the 7, and the 2. Now, we would keep going in this order. What Brett and I are going to do is we're going to jump to another game that we're actually almost done with. So we had started this one before we started filming so we can show you what starts to happen. My target number this time is 16. I'm going to go ahead and just cross off my number 16. Brett's turn. Oh, that's 12. So what happens there, since I got it wrong, I have to give myself a strike. So if you give yourself a wrong target or a wrong equation, you get a strike. So Brett caught me and I got a strike. And actually, I need to circle back my 16 because, well, I didn't have 16, did I? Brett's turn. Um, three, okay, so five, so 10. Okay. So Brett has to try and make 10. Um, okay, um, 16 subtract 6. So he did those two. All right. I have 8. So I need to find a way to make 8. I'm going to do 4 plus 3 plus 1 equals 8. 11, so... Shoot, wait. So Brett has 11. How can you make 11? I can't. I see one way you can Wait. get to 11. Oh, two. Mm -hmm. So two, three. 
Nine. Okay, so give us the equation. <laughs> Two plus nine equals? Eleven. Eleven. All right, so I have seven. I have to find a way to come up with seven. Mm -hmm. I am going to do... Now I'm going to use my 16. 16 minus 9 equals 7. 9. 9. So Brett has to come up with a 9. Oh, so 9. So since Brett doesn't have a way, he only oh, has 7, yeah. 14, 12, and 17 left. Since he doesn't have a way that he can make that, he gets a strike. So once you have a way that you can't get it, or if you give a wrong target or a wrong equation, you get a strike. If you're the first person to get three strikes, you lose. Or if you're the first person to knock off all 18 of your numbers, you win. All right, so I have 13. So let's see, I have a two, 10, 12, and a 15. And I have eight and five is 13, so I'm gonna do 15 minus two equals 13. We're almost to the end here. Oh, you got seven. lucky. So Brett's gonna cross off his seven. And I have nine. Let's see, I don't have any low ones left. I just have a 10 and a 12. So I get another X. All right, Brett. 12. Oh, you got lucky again. All right, I think the luck is on his side in this game. I have a nine. So I take my third strike. So at that, I actually lose the game. What did you end up getting? Eight. 14. You got lucky again. Brett is on a roll. So all he had left to get was his 17 over here. That's how you play 18th hole. We hope you enjoyed this game. Uh, this is one that we like to play. It's a lot of fun. Again, you do have a recording sheet that you can have kids record their equations on. Happy rolling.